Hey friends, Daniel here with the Leap Ages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Lead Pages is committed to helping you get quality leads, which means we also want to help weed out spam submissions on your forms. We've added reCAPTCHA here at Lead Pages to help with this process. Now, before we dive into setting up reCAPTCHA within the form on our page, let's talk about the fine print. Lead Pages supports reCAPTCHA v2 only. It's important when setting up your Google reCAPTCHA keys that you use reCAPTCHA v2. A Google account, of course is required to implement reCAPTCHA. Spam protection is available in the Lead Pages form widget. All form submissions, spam or not, will be saved to the CSV download file that we offer. Spam submissions will be marked in the CSV as spam. If you previously had spam protection turned on before Lead Pages implemented reCAPTCHA, that spam protection will continue to work as it did. However, you may also want to turn on reCAPTCHA for those forms. Now that we've gone through the fine print, let's dig into the fun, setting up reCAPTCHA. So we're going to go ahead and head into our pop-up, which is connected to the button on our page here. And from this point, click onto our form widget. On the left-hand side of our screen, we're going to see our form settings. And here at the bottom, we have the option to enable spam bot protection. So let's go ahead and turn this toggle to the on position. From this point, we do want to go ahead and open up the admin console. This will pull up Google for us. And we do want to start creating our key here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this lead pages. I do need to make sure to select reCAPTCHA v2. And from this point, I want to do I'm not a robot checkbox. Now we're going to go to this portion of the setup next, but we do need to head back into the lead pages builder first. So let's go ahead and head back there now. From this point, we do need to copy any of the domains listed here to use in Google. Now keep in mind if you're publishing to a connected domain, that's going to appear here, so make sure to copy that. And also too, for standalone pop-ups, the lead pages domain must be added to the reCAPTCHA form in order for reCAPTCHA to be used. So let's go ahead and copy the domain that we have showing here, and let's head back into Google so we can paste that domain in. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and just click enter. Now from this point, I do want to scroll down and accept the reCAPTCHA terms of service and then go ahead and submit. From this point, I'm going to get a site key and a secret key that I'm going to copy and add into the Lead Pages Builder. So I'm going to copy my site key first, head back into the Lead Pages Builder and paste that in. And I'll head back into Google now and go ahead and grab the secret key. And again, head back into the Lead Pages Builder and paste in that secret key. Now from this point, I just want to go through next fields, next actions, save and close, and then I do want to make sure to update my page. After you've created Google reCAPTCHA keys for one of your lead pages forms, you can continue to use that same site and secret keys for any lead pages forms you'll be publishing to the same domains you listed when creating the keys. Thank you so much for hanging out for this tech tip. Don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away under the question mark within your Lead Pages account.